Now, since the game back on Monday, there's been a lot of praise for emergency responders who immediately jumped into action to save Damar Hamlin's life. And tonight, our Olivia Proya looks at who responds to medical emergencies at One Bills Drive and around the league as everyone prepares for those games on Sunday and in this case on Monday. A shocking scene at the 50 yard line inside Paycor Stadium. You could quickly see the seriousness of the nature that it was different than anything we'd experienced. But when DeMar Hamlin collapsed during the Bengals Bills game Monday, a team of medical professionals was prepared for the unprecedented. I thought that they were on it. They were composed. Um, it was a it was obviously a complicated situation on the field that everybody was trying to process. There's a whole system uh, in place down on the field. They, they, they practice that on a regular basis. But the preparedness goes beyond a medical team on every NFL field. If you're in any facility, uh, uh, you have a north and a south emergency room. Each NFL stadium must have a level one trauma center. And at Highmark Stadium, you have doctors from ECMC and, and top notch doctors from around the area, as well as nurses. Uh, physicians, assistants, medics, EMTs, firefighters. And the work done by those teams in Cincinnati is exactly what saved Domar Hamlin's life. It's certainly not an exaggeration to say that the skilled and the immediate response by all of these talented caregivers uh, prevented a very tragic outcome. Uh, at that moment. The league's chief medical officer, Dr. Alan Sills, told CNN Today that every member of the medical staff for every team meet an hour before each game kicks off to make sure they're ready to handle emergencies like Hamlin's. They review that emergency action plan. They talk specifically about locations of emergency equipment, who's going to lead if we have a cardiac arrest, how the chain of command will go. And, and that's an incredibly important part of our preparation. If you're going to have a bad day, um, especially from an, a medical emergency standpoint, that's not a bad place to be. We reached out to UBMD to interview one of the doctors that works there, and they went to clear that interview with the Bills, who told them that they were simply not ready yet. Olivia Proya, 7 News.